Nothing like a good old bridge. Now, this one does contain a few stories and things going on around it. On board, there are uh, several cars, one of which completely turned over. Uh, there's a wee spot where some people must have been sitting, having a beer, just watching out onto the lake towards Irish Pride shipyards before the bombs fell. If you want to know where it is, it's just northeast of Bunker Hill and the USS Constitution. Right. Now, there are a few items down below that you can jump down and uh, retrieve if you need a coffee tin or a clean coffee cup. I know a lot of uh, players really like when they find clean items, as they can be relatively rare. Are they moving? They are moving. Do these just slowly fall off? No way. Okay, I know I know this might take up some time, but... Oh, the coffee tin has uh, slow comes Joe on the side of it. Never noticed. Right, I'm not too sure why these items are floating. I assume they're going to fall. Yeah. I didn't touch them. Do they float? Oh, well, the tin sinks. Do you float? So the mug... The mug does that. I'm assuming if we take away the water... Uh, T-W-S. Oh, T-W-S. T-W-S. Great start, isn't it? There's the coffee mug right at the bottom of the ocean. And the wee mug floating away. Does that mean the other items are potentially are going to uh, disappear? Because there is another wee platform over yonder. Now, it is made out of radioactive barrels. Nope, these items don't appear to have went anywhere. A wee uh, canister and a tin can. I mean, if you're looking for random resources, why not? Now, I'm presuming they probably were meant to put, like, a ghoul or someone on this platform. Or a skeleton. That would have been cool. Um, but yeah, they uh, obviously should have went somewhere by this point. There's nothing tethering this underneath the surface. Uh, neither is that one over there, but you can see the item slowly drifted off, which is the reason why Manny has probably never found the clean coffee cup or the tin, as they do just eventually drift away. Now, taking away the water once again, we can see that in terms of the surrounding area, not much is going on within the uh, the basin of the water. Plenty of cars that went in, but sure, when the bombs fell, um, I'm sure plenty of them got through. And this appears to be a wee bit of a wee bit of a mudslide. I would say, given a bit more time, this bridge, well, would it have held up a bit longer, perhaps? Uh, but I think there's a wee vodka bottle found in this fridge as well. Boom. So. Ah, you can't say we didn't get a few bits and pieces whilst we were in the area. There doesn't seem to be anything in the ways of enemies, at least until you get to the other side. Um, this side might have the odd wee random encounter. But other than that, that is, uh, that's this bridge and all the floating items dealt with. I'm not sure on the name, maybe call it Bunker, Bunker Bridge? Bunker Bridge, that might be it. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Catch us all in the next one anyway. Thank you.